cup and ring marks or cup marks are a form of prehistoric art found mainly in Atlantic Europe, Ireland, Wales, England, France, Portugal, Scotland and Spain, and in Mediterranean Europe, Italy, Greece and Switzerland. Similar forms are also found throughout the world including Australia, Gabon, Greece, Hawaii, India, Israel, Mexico and Mozambique. They consist of a concave depression, no more than a few centimeters across, pecked into a rock surface and often surrounded by concentric circles also etched into the stone. Sometimes a linear channel called a gutter leads out from the middle. The decoration occurs as a petroglyph on natural boulders and outcrops and also as an element of megalithic art on purposely worked megaliths such as the slab cysts of the food vessel culture. Some stone circles and passage graves such as the Clava, tombs and on the capstones at New Grange, India, Canaan, the site of Atlat Yam, abandoned circa 6300 BCE and now under Israel's Mediterranean sea coast south of Haifa, features cup marks engraved into megalithic stones some of which are set upright to form a semicircle which has been referred to as resembling the UK's Stonehenge but smaller, with ceremonially buried bodies at the site, and potential alignments to the solstice, and, or to other stars, still being hypothesized as the site was only discovered in 2009 and undersea sites are difficult and expensive to explore. Further inland, dating to at least 3000 BCE and estimated up to 4000 BCE, is Rujml Hira, a cairn type of megalith, consisting of concentric circles estimated to contain 40 million kilograms of stones moved by humans, with an opening in the outer circle which aligns to the summer solstice and which has a burial chamber in the center, with thousands of dolmens nearby, a dolmen being a third and younger type of megalith found elsewhere in Eurasia, the oldest of which thus far are found in the UK, but date only to the 3rd millennium BCE in Israel. The cup marks are still present in other proto-Canaanite sites as recently as the Chalcolithic Age for example at several sites in and around modern-day Modayan dated to the 4th millennium BCE and the 3rd millennium BCE, and in the city of David, Old Jerusalem. Tel Gezer has more upended megaliths dating to only 1550 BCE which are aligned to Earth's north and south physical poles, but Tel Gezer's cut marks have only recently been surveyed and do not appear to have been dated yet. However, excavations at Gezer are ongoing as of 2014. Greece, Prefecture of Larissa, Greece, Italy. Numerous cut marked stones have been found in quite all the Alpine valleys, comprising Val Camonica, associated with rock drawings. Regarding Western Alps, the best known are distributed along the Chisone, SUSA and VIU valleys, also the La Bessa site is to be cited. Strictly referring to cup and rings, it is possible to cite in the Western Alps only the Novales a stone, in the Siniskia valley, near the Italian-French border. Found in 1988, it shows four concentric circles, with a central cup mark, all around a network of 20 cup marks and channels. Going south, Sardinia is unexpectedly rich of cup and ring stones. The best known is the so-called Per de Pinta or Stella di Boali, at Mamoyada, an impressive stella or menhai too, 67 meters high with various concentric circles patterns crossed by engraved channels and central cup marks. Galicia. Similar patterns are known in Galicia, which has given them the name of Galician style. These types, the cup and ring, cup and ring with gutter and the gapped concentric circles motifs are shared between this part of Iberia and the British Isles, manifesting, together with other cultural expressions like megaliths or Bronze Age culture, a cultural link along the coasts of Atlantic Europe. United Kingdom, precisely dating megalithic art is difficult. Even if the megalithic monument can be dated, the art may be a later addition. The Hunter Hugh Craggs cup and ring marks near Anik in Northumberland have recently been demonstrated to date back into the early Neolithic era, through their stratigraphic relationship with other 
Datable features. Some cup marks have been found in Iron Age contexts but these may represent reused stones. Where they are etched onto natural, flat stone it has been observed that they seem to incorporate the natural surface of the rock. Those at Hunter Hue are mostly connected to one another by gutters that can channel rainwater from one to the next, down the sloping top of the stone. It has been suggested by archaeologist Clive Waddington that the initial early Neolithic impetus to create the marks was forgotten and that the practice fell into abeyance until a second phase of creation continued the basic tradition but with less precision and more variability in design. The markers of this second phase moved the art from natural stones to megaliths as its symbolism was reinterpreted by later Neolithic and early Bronze Age people. Their purpose is unknown although some may be connected with natural stone outcrops exploited by Neolithic peoples to make polished stone axes. A religious purpose has been suggested. Alexander Tom suggested in a BBC television documentary, Cracking the Stone Age Code, in 1970, I have an idea, entirely nebulous at the moment, that the cup and ring markings were a method of recording, of writing, and that they may indicate, once we can read them, what a particular stone was for. We have seen the cup and ring markings on the stone at Temple Wood, and that's on the main stone but we can't interpret them, dot yet. He created diagrams and carried out analysis of over 50 of the cup and ring markings from which he determined a length he termed the megalithic inch. This whole idea has been ignored almost completely apart from a critical analysis carried out by Alan Davis in the 1980s who tested Tom's hypothesis on cup and ring sites in England by examining the separations of neighbouring cup mark centres. He found some weak evidence for the megalithic inch, but it was not statistically significant, and he suggested strongest indications towards the use of a quantum close in value to 5 me at certain sites, and that the apparent quantum seems Strongly associated with ringed cups, Davis made an initial effort to build on Tom's start, and to answer the question he posed, why should a man spend hours, or rather days, cutting cups in a random fashion on a rock? It would indeed be a breakthrough if someone could crack the code of the cups. Subsequently Davis investigated the idea that the prehistoric carvers used an elementary method of diameter construction in laying out the carvings. This investigation suggested a possible explanation for many of the characteristic shapes of carved rings, and also produced evidence in the ring diameters for the use of a unit of measurement close to Tom's me that was of high statistical significance. The evidence is consistent with the use of rough measures such as hand and finger widths. But the important conclusion is that a similar design ritual, apparently involving a consistent measurement system of some kind, was in use over a wide geographical area. Sites Sites with cup and ring marks include Chat in Sandyford, Cairn and Fowberry petroglyphs in Northumberland, Baxton Beck petroglyphs on Ilkley Moor, Gardham's Edge in Derbyshire, Batchwin Portal Dolman in North Wales, Anderton, Lancashire. The Ladies Long Barrow, Kin Cardinesha, Street House Cairn in Cleveland, Dalgarvan Mill, North Ayrshire, Mocklin Gorge, East Ayrshire, Brodick, Isle of Arran, Blackshaw Hill, North Ayrshire, Colmartin, Argyll, Acknebrek, Argyll, Balblair, Bewley, near Inverness, Tuncroft, near Bork, Dumfries and Galloway, Colpatrick Hills, Strathclyde, Colpatrick Hills, Craig Maddy Muir by the Allude Wives Lift near Milgai, Eston Hills, Cleveland, Middlesbrough, Wheatwood Moor, Northumberland, Ireland. Work at Drummerill in County Monaghan has uncovered Neolithic and early Bronze Age occupation evidence around the rock carvings there and this dating is generally accepted for most of the art. Another particularly rich source of cup-marked boulders is the Derry Nablaha townland on the Avera Peninsula in County Kerry, Switzerland. One of the most interesting open-air rock art sites in the Swiss Alps is situated at Carschena, Arethic Alps.
where Latin-derived languages melt with German ones. The first engraved rocks were discovered in 1965, during the building of an iron electricity framework. Karshena engravings are mainly characterized by concentric circles, from 1 to 9 and cut marks, spirals, sun-like figures, riding scenes, and schematic horses are also present. Cup marks joined by long channels usually superimpose the cup and rings patterns.